I am a criminologist, psychologist and an ex-lawyer. I'll be speaking to some disgusting serial killers to figure out how this all happened. When murderers kill. Not many cases have troubled the people of Bexley Heath quite like this. Today we're talking to, for the first time ever, exclusively, to the Bexley Heath Strangler. My name's Jack Mason, John Mason, Mason Masonson. Thank you for talking to us. I'm going to treat you with respect and dignity, just so you know. No. So you committed nine murders in the space of a month. Twelve. Does it say, does it say nine? Twelve? Yeah, nine. Twelve. Nine. You killed does it twelve. Does it say nine? It says twelve. You said nine. Is it, is it nine or twelve? Twelve. Twelve. Said nine. Got him. People call you the Bexley Heath. It was the Bexley Heath Strangler, but then it became the Bexley Heath Arm Strangler. You squeezed their arms, didn't you, you sick pig? Well, it's easier to strangle someone by the arms than it is to strangle someone by the, the neck bit. But it takes 40 minutes. Yeah, but for 32 minutes, they don't even realise. Really twisted individual. Well, what about this? You killed your own brother, didn't you? I don't have a brother. No, he's dead because of the arms. Yeah, that's what I'm saying, I don't have a brother. But you did before you killed him. Yeah. Tell me about your early life. What, what led you to this? I didn't have a childhood. How's that possible? You tell me. Are you intimidated by me? I've never been less intimidated by anything in my life. You really are a piece of scum, you know that. And you're facing execution. They're gonna hang you for this. They don't hang people anymore. They're gonna hang, no, just, yeah, they're gonna hang you. They didn't tell you. They said, they said five years. Five years? Were you at the right trial? Six months of murder. But it is the death penalty. I'm really annoyed about this. So you're just finding out now that you're going to die? Well, I was, I was, I was in the thing. In what the thing? In the, court, in the courtroom. Yeah. It was just so boring in there. I wasn't really listening. It is boring, to be fair, in those places. So, what? So, hang on, what? Yeah, you're going to hang for all the people you strangled by the arms to death. <sighs> Wait, I'm going to hang by the arms? Yeah. So you see how it feels. I'm not fucking doing it. How about that? Well, no, it's done. I'm not doing the hanging. You're doing the hanging. I'm going to... Right, what, you're going to try and... Right, could you please... Not again, Mason, come on. Come on, there we go. Getting down. Down, down again. Yeah. Oh, there we go. All right. Are you done with them, or...? You can yeah, pop them down again. Oh, there you go. Come on. You've got really nice arms. Disgusting. Can you shut the window? It's cold. Oh, he's got the arm. He's got the arm. It's he's nice. got yeah. the. This, Come on. Oh, it's it's gonna gonna take... oh that hurt. That really hurts. That would have taken forty minutes. Yeah. Eighty. Eighty. Well, I could only do one arm at a time from handcuff. Do you not feel any? Do I feel remorse? Yes. Let me ask you a question. If you are ice skating and a child falls over and you skate over its fingers, do you feel remorse then? These aren't things I do, these are things you do. You understand? When you open your... the person that used to live in your flat's post, if you're sick and tired of getting their post, do you feel remorse then? I feel bad. It's not the same as strangling a shopkeeper. You're living in a sick fantasy. And I'm glad they're going to hang me by your arms. So you're on the run for a little while. How'd you get caught? I just got tired of running. Right. So I started walking. Oh, you meant, so you were just literally running the entire time? Yeah. Because normally going on run is a saying. What? what you know, you, you know you're on the run, you're, you're hiding, you're like, you know, you're trying to evade is the that, police. Wait. You did it wrong. Is you, that what that means? Yeah, you just ran. 
That's the second time I've been really pissed off in this interview, you know. Right. First the death thing, now the... Well, so you don't have to just run everywhere. No. Sometimes I am my own worst enemy, you know that? How do you want the world to remember you? I want the world to remember me as a confident lover, a nice human boy with a twinkle in his eye, who loved mashed potato. Most importantly, mm -hmm. I want to be remembered as a guy that liked to strangle people by the arms. That's disgusting. You're going to hell for this. What? What do you mean? But you're going to go to hell when you die. It says who? I guess God. Oh, if, I, if I'd have known that, I wouldn't have... Obviously, I wouldn't... This is a nightmare. Get him out of him. That's enough. When's it? When's this gonna be on? You won't. You'll be dead by then. Today's been an absolute fucking ride. Off. We hope the people of Beckley Heath can finally find some peace.